My name's Dave Moore and I come from North Yorkshire, God's country. Um, I've been sponsored by Hardy Grace for the last six years. Um, one of the questions I've been asked this morning was what's the most memorable fish capture? Well, to stick with consistency, I've written, about, written this about twice in the last ten years and it goes back to the late 1970s out of a, a lake called Notford Lagoon that's actually in North Yorkshire. Um, the reason it was so memorable is at the time it was, uh, it was the first fish I actually purposely targeted and it was exceptionally large for the time. Uh, only a mere upper 20 but still you know, very memorable. I can remember the day, the date, the time, the actual how it all, hap how it all happened, um, the circumstances, everything. My target for 2012 stroke 2013, a bit mixed. It will very much depend on how my fishing goes at uh, Bundy's, which is a lake just on the outskirts of uh, Whittlesea in, uh, near Peterborough. Um, you know, the fishing there at the moment have just spawned, and, uh, and how that fishing actually goes is, is, you know, remains to be seen. My other target fish for this year will be a fish that's uh, swimming around in a lake in Somerset which is a hell of a long way from, uh, from uh, North Yorkshire um, called Single Scale which could possibly be later on this year nearly £60 but that, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, how often do I fish? Probably no more if you added it all up more than probably 70 days a year max. Uh, I tend to do quite a lot of short sessions and I will travel colossal round trips to actually do it because the, you know, the job I do doesn't really leave me with much, uh, with much time. Um, the other question was asked, what's an essential item of tattle that I always bring with me fishing? There's one thing I will never leave home without and this is my chest waders. Two reasons why, if it rains they keep you dry and they are fantastic pieces of kit for looking for things that you normally couldn't find or see. So if I would recommend anything that anybody takes them, get a pair of chest waders and if you're on a walk that allows you to wade, you know, get them on, get in the water and see what you can find. 